She just said a terrible thing. You know what she said? Shout it out, because I don't want to She said he's a That's terrible. Terrible. Mm, you know what? There's a difference between being politically incorrect and plain old vulgarity. And I can tell you, voters here, they know the difference. Don't forget, you're in New England. But will it even matter? Turning now to Joe Trippi and Gina Loudon. Um, Joe, what do you think? Is it going to matter what he said? Is it going to affect anybody who's maybe, you know, vacillating back and forth thinking Trump or somebody else? Uh, I don't think the look, I don't think there's much Trump can say uh, that offends uh, his supporters. Uh, the more people get offended by him, uh, the more they like him, it seems. But look, I do think he's going to underperform. I think he I, I, I just don't see him having the kind of ground game. Ground game doesn't matter as much as New Hampshire because it's a primary. It's going to be a high turnout, but it still does matter. And I think Jeb Bush, Kasich, uh, Rubio and others have a. Uh, uh, and Cruz have much stronger uh, ground operations than Trump. So I think he's going to come down a little from what the polls are showing, but I don't think it'll be because of anything he said. Okay, ground operation matters for sure in a state like this. And Gina, we saw in Iowa that Donald Trump didn't quite have the ground operation he needed to really be able to deliver on some of the polling data. Um, do you think it could be a similar story here? I mean, it, all expectations are he's going to win, but I guess now it's a question of by how much. This it will be interesting. This will be sort of almost an unintentional referendum on pollsters, if you will, Trish, because if it, if it turns out that his numbers are similar to the polls, then he's going to unleash on Cruz and say, see, I said he stole votes off of my, off of the top of mine, skimmed the votes as, as Trump had, had accused. On the other hand, if his numbers come in much lower than polls have predicted, um, some heads are probably going to roll because people are going to say, hey, these pollsters we're paying a lot of money for these polls and they keep coming out wrong so this is going to be very interesting for more than just the numbers that come out of new hampshire and of course the big question here in new hampshire is who's going to come in second who's going to come in third you get all these republican candidates really scrambling for the next positions in all of this but let me turn to the democrats for a second because the other big race is uh, hillary clinton and whether or not she can pull off anything here like she did uh eight years ago everybody thought she was going to lose, um, but what do you know? Uh, all of a sudden, things changed, and she, she delivered on the day of. Joe Trippi, uh, do you think there's any chance that she can eke out some kind of win here? I don't think there's any, uh, uh, any possibility of her uh, closing enough to, to defeat Sanders. I do think it will get closer than the polls showed. She could even get it to single digits, but... Uh, anybody who thinks they can predict on either side what's going to happen, you have 30, 40 percent of the electorate saying they haven't made up their minds yet or are trying to decide between any two candidates. And even with uh, with Bernie Sanders, a lot of the independents, and there's, they're about 44 percent of the state, are trying to decide between Trump, Bernie Sanders, and Kasich, are the three names that keep coming up in the right. polling data about them. So anything can happen. Uh, let, let me share uh, with you guys front. this. I, I'd like to get your reaction to this tweet that David Axelrod sent out today, uh, which which seemed to be uh, rather damning, and that it, it suggested that you know the the problem on her campaign staff may not actually be from the staffers; it might actually be with her. He said, when the exact same problems crop up in separate campaigns with different staff, at what point do the principals say, "Hey, maybe it's us"? And don't forget, there's chatter out there, uh, Gina, that that she's going to have to reshape her campaign staff. Uh, she's come out and said, no, no, we're not doing any major rejiggling. But nonetheless, uh, David Axelrod saying this today, what do you make of it? I completely agree. And I think one of the interesting things anecdotally in the poll that I keep saying I would really like to see, Trish, is one that asks everyone who their second choice would be. Because I found that a lot of people who are supporting Sanders, their second choice would be Trump if Sanders weren't mm -hmm. uh, available for them to vote for. But mm -hmm. a lot of those supporting, supporting Trump, their second choice is another GOP candidate. This signals huge trouble for Hillary. She just is not acceptable for a vast, a vast amount of Democrats, and the DNC has a huge problem on their hands. All right. Uh, I'd like to thank both of you. Good to see you, Joe and Gina.